All right, so what we're looking at are the two different ways in which you can add in your final EOC scores. Uh, if you want to make sure that your grades are calculated in both Schoology and PowerSchool the same. And that's the only reason we would need to do this because the final EOC grades do not sync at this time. So you would have to enter them both inside your Schoology gradebook and in your uh, PowerSchool gradebook, PowerTeacher. So but there's two different ways to do it. First way is if you want to add it to the feed, you hit add materials, you hit add assignment, and then you put in final or EOC, depending on uh, what it is you are adding in here. For this one, um, we're gonna be adding in a final exam, but again, it can be either one. It can be either a final exam or EOC. If you want it in a feed, you want description, uh, you know, everything that goes along with that, uh, kind of include your due date. And then here, we're gonna set a due date again, not as necessary. We're also gonna set it as a midterm final. It's gonna take away the grading period um, and you have your final exam created. And then if we head over to, and you can see here now it'll be at the bottom of our feed. If we go over to our gradebook setup, we now have the final exam category that we could add it in. And now our final grades will calculate uh, correctly. So what's the second way that we can do this? Or let's also look at how we wanna add that grade in. So when you get to your grade <clears throat> and you wanna add in your final EOC grades, you would hit again, final midterm grades on the quarter drop down menu. And then here is your final exam, and here's where you can enter in those grades. Now, let's also show you the second way of which you can do the uh, add this in. Let's say you don't want it in your feed. Uh, you just want to add a column in your gradebook. And again, this could be for final exam that you're handing out, or again, the EOC. Um, so with this one, I'm going to label it the EOC. Uh, it's set as a final midterm, no grading period. Again, due date, not necessary here. And then create so that we head to our grade setup. Now we have the EOC, we would change our weights here to 40, 40 and EOC counts for 20. Now our grades will calculate correctly. And same thing when we go to grade setup or grade book, we wanna add in that EOC score or final exam score. We go to final midterm grades and now we can add those in so that our overall grades would calculate correctly.